I decided to do this special emergency broadcast today because what better day to do this than Easter Sunday? You know, we got things trending around. He has risen. Christ is king. It's a very religious holiday. Well, let me say this. Hip hop is actually a religion. Yes, that's right. Hip hop is a religion. And I want y'all to realize that. And if you guys have not seen yet by now that our religion, our culture has been seriously infiltrated by the powers that be. This can even go all the way down to Diddy and the whole accusations and allegations of him being um, gay, of him being a SEX trafficker, of him being an abuser. Diddy is a hip hop mogul, whether we care to admit it or not. This man has done a lot and also have probably done a lot of horrible things for the hip hop culture. But nonetheless, he is part of our culture and he is part of the religion. And what they are doing is they are destroying our leaders in this culture. And then they are going and they are replacing it with these buffoons. Now, I understand Soldier Boy had his hit discovered on MySpace back in the days and they want to bring this back which I find very interesting but let's be real Soldier Boy like Ice-T said was one of the reasons for the downfall of music Ice-T made a great point how can we go from Rakim to this listen just because the government pushes this agenda in front of you and I see that not all of you, but some of you are just so dumb and will just take it in and be like, duh, duh. Oh, man, this slaps. Oh, man, this is a hit. Oh, this is because, you know, because the government realizes that some of y'all can't even think for yourselves. I don't want to get too political, but even the Biden administration declared Easter as a day of transgender day of visibility. There's obviously an agenda that's in place. You. I like how they brought back the uh, MySpace reference. Bow, 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 bow. Yeah. Yeah. This is the part that I really wanted to speak about. Was bow, um, bow. the Aiden Ross. Yeah. The character that Aiden Ross is playing in this video. Now, they got everybody in this video, man, from Drake to Aiden. Uh, he's playing that internet nerd, you know, young white male probably has nothing else better to do than to go online and you know masturbate on social media now i know that this will be a whole nother subject but some of us have studied uh the infiltration of porn right and that porn is actually now used to uh weaken men maybe it's always been that purpose it just doesn't seem like porn was just so overly saturated as it is today and so, therefore, that men have become weaker. They just, uh, you know, want to play video games all day and jerk off. And it seems like back in the days, that was kind of frowned upon. Like, ah, oh, man, that's what you be doing all day with your time? You're a loser. You ain't out there getting laid. I believe that this is the way uh, young men were uh, from the generation that I was coming up. Where now it seems like the generation of younger men uh, think it's cool to just play video games and jerk off all day. Pause. So Aiden, we know who's uh, very heavily influential within this demographic. And it makes me really sit back and wonder what kind of message they are trying to show through this video. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. know, you know, on a deeper scale. I get it. Everybody doing the dance. It's all. This part right here. I ain't looking. Okay, so we know the lyric right there. I'm trying to tell y'all that this whole message is being portrayed heavily in the black community. If you study other cultures, you do not hear the women talking about how they do not need a man. Sometimes I wonder, like, 
should we really be out here speaking this truth? Because, you know, I know that some of y'all get it, but it seems like there's some haters out there. And I don't know, they could be undercover agents. But sometimes I feel like there's some haters out there where it's just like, man, are, are you really that ignorant and can't see the agenda that's being pushed? And again, that's why I say, man, I hate to sound like a cliche YouTuber, but yo, man, if you guys could please like you know, comment on the video, but mainly like the video. It helps get it pushed through the algorithm. It might not just be YouTube. It just might be social media in general that if there's no in certain types of engagement, the algorithm doesn't notice it. Yeah, man, it really helps if you guys like these videos because I see that y'all are watching, man. Don't think we ain't checking the analytics. Let's get back to this nonsense. Is that sexy? Pretty sexy. Pretty sexy. You know, you got to be careful what they are portraying to our young daughters, our young black daughters, especially that these two people, uh, three, shall I say, Drake included, have heavy influence, have a lot of influence on the generation right now. And this is what they choose to portray. I'm trying to tell y'all, man, we might be at a state of emergency. Walking through the club looking like a snack. Be careful, y'all. What dollars you said? No thank you. No problem. I mean, yeah. I like how she at least said thank you after he bought uh, the ICs. I've been on some dates where some women haven't even said thank you for that. And it's like, man, I, bu I, I took you out to dinner. I took you to the movies. And I bought some popcorn. And I can't even get a thank you. And I'll take wood. <laughs> Make good okay. Oh. Oh, thank you. Wow. Yeah. Speaking of. I I'm here with you. I mean, you you looking at her like that's what you like. Nah. Don't start. Please don't start. This is the other part that I want to get into right here. Uh, was I, you know, I was gonna say like I don't know if we can show this, but because it's already on YouTube, I guess we can. Was Aiden Ross? Uh, yeah. I mean, we just played. <gasps> so this is the message that we want to portray is uh turning men weak uh have like she said they're gonna eat her coochie hole and i mean you know like we already know right this is like pound town part three but it's just um i see how they put three very influential people who are very in touch with the youth of the culture right now and cram them all into a video and portraying this message is just very unique to me. But also on the fact, did you guys hear on the Joe Budden podcast where he said that he believes that Drake is being paid? Talking talk oh, to uh, hang out with Sexy Red? Respectfully. Okay. And I ain't it, defending it. It sound you. like a nigga that could rap at that level that gets paid off of everybody's deal trying to rap. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. Yo, okay, first of all. That's what it sounds like. Okay, wait, hold on. To me, I'm not, I'm not arguing with none I'm of not, you All right. You, I'm you, not trying to debate. Real quick, real quick, real quick. You said this. I mean, wasn't that kind of with the uh, deal? Ice Spice? Is this confirmed? Or oh, this is just some inside shit that you're saying? Oh, you think he just likes being around Sexy Red that much? Yeah, so this is, is this speculation? Y'all think, no, you think no, he just is? I, I'm with you. 100% like, with there. 100%. You got to teach me. I don't know. I can name some more. I can name some more people. More. Hey. And this is what I, Yo, no, be this saying, is what I don't understand about you f***ing Drake stands, Right? Yo, the shot of that dude shaking his head like that is really on some clown shit, yo. Like, this part, that part right there, wow, yo. That looks... It's so ignorant, yo. Yo, it's so ignorant, yo. It's so ignorant that I don't know if y'all see the red flags, but, man, I'm telling y'all, there's definitely something uh, going on. It's sexy red, bro. This not sexy red. Yeah, uh, the youth might be in trouble, y'all. 